Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you today? I am good. Welcome to all of those who are new. I am so glad that you're here. I know that we've had quite a few new people um, subscribe, hanging out, checking out my channel, you know, some lurkers. I just welcome you all and all of those who are returning. Thanks so much for coming back. I am excited about this week's Fragrance Friday. Not so much about the fragrance, although I like, I am excited to talk about the fragrance. I'm excited because Janine at Free the Tomatoes, if your name is not Janine and I'm saying it wrong, please correct me because then I'm gonna feel stupid. But Janine at Free the Tomatoes has started doing Fragrance Friday as well. I will have her link down below for you to check her out. She has already posted her first review. She did an awesome job, guys. So go support her, go check it out, her out. She is awesome. She, she cracks me up, all of her videos crack me up. So just go show her some love. I know she was a little worried about this, but she did an awesome job. So let's jump into this week's Fragrance Friday. Last night I unboxed all, all of my perfumes because I wanted to get to this bottle. I have been using my sample that I had in the project a little goes a long way. So long story short, I blind bought, I believe it's called Chow. If I am pronouncing it incorrectly, please put it down in the comments how to pronounce it phonetically so I can get it right. It is C-I-A-O. It is this beautiful like baby pink bottle. All of his bottles in this line, um, look like this other than the color of the bottle changes. It has this beautiful filigree top. The top is plastic, so if that bothers you, just know that. Um, I'm not sure if this part is plastic. Um, if it is, it's extremely strong plastic, but I don't know. My guess is yes, but I don't know. And then there's this little cute medallion on all of them. Um, right here. So that's what you hear kind of jingling. I think these bottles are absolutely gorgeous. They are heavier than dirt. You could use them as a paperweight. So let's spray it. All right, when I spray this, the first time I sprayed it, I was like, oh my heavens, what if, what am I spraying? Because you know, it's just in my pile for my project and so I hadn't looked at what I was putting on that day. I just grabbed something because this took me by surprise. To me, it smells very juicy. Very candy-like. I'm trying to describe it. I get, I get strawberry there. I get There is something that kind of zips. I'm not quite sure what it is. But when I first sprayed it, it made me think of, you know, those candy necklaces that are on that stretchy band that you bite off the piece of candy, you know, and you wear and it's all wet and gross. And But the candy is so good and you so you eat it. That's what it smelled like to me when I first sprayed it. That was what popped into my mind those candy necklaces, penny candies. You know, when you'd go into the gas station, they'd have penny candies. Maybe maybe some of you have never experienced that. But, and it just kind of has this overwhelming candy smell. Do, regardless of what the candy is, there's just this very sweet, sugary sweetness. Sweet, sugary sweetness. <laughs> this sugary sweetness that just kind of permeates that area. That's what I got when I first sprayed it. I get it every single time that I spray it. It then mellows down from that really strong candy smell into a fruity, um, fruity scent at the top. 
This was created in 2016 and it was described as a cheerful and enchanting scent. And I would stand by that statement 100%. It really is cheerful and enchanting, but not in like a young girl um, fragrance, you know? This is a scent you wear like you're going out on a walk to the park or on a picnic. You have a lunch date, maybe. It just exudes a happy um, presence that it kind of just permeates your whole spirit. You know, your whole, everything, how you're feeling. Um, you can't be sad and grumpy with this fragrance. It just doesn't let you. It is just, it's a breath of fresh air. It's not a fresh scent, but I'm talking, it's a breath of fresh air in that it just makes you, makes you smile. Let me give you the notes, okay? And I'll tell you, I don't smell all of them because you know me, I never do. Heavens, I got um, penny candy out of the first shot, so we know Lori did not smell these notes. At the top, we have Italian mandarin, pink grapefruit, wild strawberries, and blackberry. The middle is a floral balm, and it is rose, peony, lily of the valley, passion flower, pink jasmine and honeysuckle. Now the base is to me an extremely mellow base. It's amber, cashmere, amaro liqueur, sandalwood, and patchouli. So it's described as a fruity floral oriental. I do not get the oriental part whatsoever. I really get the fruity floral, but in a very sophisticated way. Like I said, this is not a teenage bebop, you know, scent. This is for a grown woman, a woman of style, a woman, as I sit here in my t-shirt, a woman who um, exudes confidence. That, that is what Chow is about. You know, she just, she's just a happy woman deep down. It does have that fruitiness at the beginning that to me really smells of candy, but it mellows down and you start to get those um, fruity notes. I can't really pick out anything but strawberry and something that's zesty, which I'm a I am assuming is the mandarin or the grapefruit, but it's not, it's not grapefruit because it's not, it's not a tart scent, but there's something zippy there. But it's very juicy and sweet and pie-like, if you will. You know, something that you just want to sink your teeth into. And then as it moves into the middle, you know, um, that floral part, the top and the middle start to meld, you know, that fruity floral starts to mix together. And with all of these notes, I really get that honeysuckle. That honeysuckle is extremely present. I don't, I really don't smell, um, any of the other notes, I really get the honeysuckle. It is gorgeous. It is, it is thick and kind of heavy. So it pulls that fruitiness down into this ri rich blend of, of sweetness because honeysuckle is a very sweet floral scent in my opinion. It's a beautiful flower. 
And I think that is what pulls all that fruitiness in. I mean, the jasmine could probably be in there doing the same um, because that is also a heavy, wet floral. But I really get that honeysuckle and usually honeysuckle doesn't really pop for me, but it does in this scent and I really love it. Now, as it moves into the the base or the bottom, you know, the, the heart of the fragrance is still mixed. That fruit, there's some, there's that juiciness that stays because some of these are kind of a darker um, fruit scent. Um, we've lost the candy scent some to a point that it's kind of in the background but it's still there that happiness that innocence i guess i don't want to say childlike i think innocence is probably the more appropriate way to describe it it's still there but it is in really in the background and i get amber i get a creaminess i I think that liqueur, that amaro liqueur, is there's just a little nip um, at the base. To me, it's still really heavy and pie-like, um, but it's not overly strong because it's been mixed with that creamy goodness. That sandalwood really grounds it. It gives it that depth um, that you're looking for. I do not get patchouli at all, which I'm okay with. You guys know my love-hate relationship with patchouli. I don't really get an oriental vibe off of this. It sits on the skin really nicely for a very long time. I find that this fragrance lasts for a good five hours, and I'm not talking as a very bright scent. Um, you know, that sweet, heavy, candy-like scent, you know, that part probably lasts about two to three, two, two hours, three is no, but two hours, you can really smell that sweetness before it really starts to dry down and take that sweetness into that creamy goodness. It is not gourmand in any way. Um, the, the floral of this scent just doesn't allow it to be a gourmand. I really love chow. Um, that first waft of it when I first tried it just, it blew my mind. Now, if you don't like those candy necklaces, know that that doesn't stay there, but there's a sweetness that stays there throughout. And I sprayed this on me the other night before I went to bed and when I woke up I could still smell it and that was a good, you know, I don't know, 10 hours. Now no, it wasn't present like it is right now, right now it is very, it is very present at the moment. But it's just very soft, very creamy, but still has that big, sweet, fruity floral to it. I mean, it's just, it's there, but it's not, it's not overpowering. So, it, you know, it, it sits on the skin so beautifully and wears nicely. Yes, you can keep spraying it to keep that bubbly, effervescent first part, um, going if you want, but that dry down is just as beautiful as it settles into your skin and um, kind of becomes one with you. I do think your partner could probably still smell it if they were close to you, um, you know, if you guys were snuggling at that dry down, they could still smell it. So it's projection it, at the beginning is is pretty loud. Um, I will say it 
it's more than a moderate um, reach. It it is very light and it can um, it can spread, but it starts to pull in um, rather quickly, probably within 10 minutes or so, it starts to pull in and get deeper as I talked about. So then its reach is not so much, but it's still there. I would, I would say it's going, you know, people, you know, six rows deep, if you will, is going to smell you. Um, but once it hits that deeper middle into the bass note, it becomes more personal. They're going to have to be in your bubble to smell it. So it slowly draws itself in to you and becomes like one with you. So that is Chow. I think it is beautiful. I think the bottle is beautiful. I like this line. So, but I really, I love Chow. That candy opening got me. Now I'm not saying you will smell that candy opening, but that's what I smelled. And it just took me back to a, you know, great memories and a great time being able to run into the gas station and buy some penny candy before we headed back home after visiting my grandma and grandpa. So those are good memories. That is what this brings to me. It brings really happy memories to me, and I really like it. I know you can get it for a decent price. I will have some listings down below of where you can find it. But if you like fruity florals that are oriental, no, <laughs> you might like chow, but it is a very happy scent. You can't wear it without being happy. So if you like to be grumpy and you like to just wear something that makes you grumpy, chow is not for you. But if you are wanting to exude a happy presence, check out Chow by Vince Camuto. It is really good. So that is all I have for you for Fragrance Friday. Go check out Janine at Free the Tomatoes. You guys, let me know your thoughts. Do you like Chow? Do you have Chow? Do you like Vince Camuto's line? Let me know down in the comments below. You guys take good care of yourself. Be safe out there, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.